Hello everyone. Welcome back to SubDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh. And in this video, what we are going to do is how we can generate the OTP using Lightning Flow Builder. So we are going to see what is the importance of OTP whenever we are working with Salesforce. We will also use this concept in the coming videos whenever we will be working with the login flow in Salesforce. So as we all know that Salesforce is basically forcing or we say that uh, they are implementing two-factor authentication for all their Salesforce environment so that the security of the Salesforce can be uh, in the right place and cannot be breached by anyone. And on top of that, even if you want, like Salesforce has enabled the two-factor authentication where either you have to enter some keys using some sort of external authentication uh, devices or you are using their own authenticator application in order to uh, allow if you are the person who is actually logging into the system on top of that what you can do is you can also basically have your own authentication mechanism with the help of login flows so that whenever a user is logging you are generating a otp behind the scene sending that to the user like this is we have sent you the email uh, like otp over email Put that OTP and if the OTP is valid, you will be logging and we can also expire that OTP after 10 minutes or after 15 minutes. So that is what we are going to see. We are going to see how to generate OTP and then it uh, use the same OTP in the coming videos as a second factor of authentication. So I already have set up an object called OTP inside Salesforce. These are the various fields that we have. So the user who is basically trying to log in into the system. What is the status of our OTP either generated or expired whatever it has. What is the OTP which we have generated a unique OTP for each user. Okay. When the OTP was generated the date and time. What is the browser that user is trying to log in. What is the operating system that user is trying to log in. It can be Windows or it can be Mac OS. There are few formula fields which I have already created. I will show you what are those formula fields. The name field of our OTP object is an auto generated name field, which we are actually going to see what exactly is there. So, just to set up that, what you need to do is just go there, log in into your Salesforce org, and uh, I'm here inside the sales application. So, I have already created the object called OTP that I have already shown you. So I'll just find that just to show you what's all there in OTP object. These are the couple of OTPs which I already have created. Okay. So I'm just going to open any of the OTP which we have. So you can see this is the uh, open like uh, this is the auto number which we don't need to worry about that. This is the user who is trying to log in and whatever the user we have selected, we will be able to see the username as well. Okay. What is the exact username? Browser and operating system, we will be picking up directly from the login flow. We will see how we can pick that. Then this is the generated time and expired time is going to be generated with the help of a formula field. We are going to expire our OTP after 5 minutes. You can use 10 minutes or 15 minutes. And this checkbox is again a formula field which is checking these two fields based on if this field uh, is basically in the past then this checkbox is going to check automatically a status is generated by default these are the different values like generated expired or verified whatever we have this is the otp which is actually getting generated dynamically with the help of our flow that is calling the invocable apex behind the scene okay i will show you first let me quickly go to the setup and in the setup section, I will show you what are all the fields, what is the data type, so that you can go ahead and set up this inside your Salesforce org and can be ready in the coming videos in order to use the login flows. Okay. So just go ahead and click on object manager. And here I already have, so I will just go ahead and open this OTP fields and relationships. So this browser is basically the text field. Okay. Code is something which is basically auto number field. I have just created a custom field is there. Created by ID is something which is uh, basically a standard field. We don't need to worry about that. 
Expire time is a daytime field, which is a formula field. I will show you what is there. Let me open that. So basically, in the generated daytime field, which is again a daytime field, I'm adding five minutes. And the, uh, why I'm using five divided by fourteen forty? Because if you wanted to add a minute, we have to calculate some formula. So that's what the formula is here. Instead of five minutes, I will say let's make it as fifteen okay. minutes. So this is about expired time and then we've got a checkbox field called expired again a formula field and that depends on this generated date time and expired time. So let's open this expired field. You say if our current date time is greater than expired time, our expired checkbox is going to be uh, mar marked as expired. That is going to check that checkbox. Name is again a uh, auto number field. Operating system is a text field. OTP is again a text field. Status is picklist field. You already have seen that particular uh, picklist values. Then we have got user and username. Okay, user is a lookup field to the user who is trying to log in, and username is a formula field which is basically getting the username from this particular lookup field. So if you open this username, you can see here we are just referring that user and putting the username. So this is all about what field we have created inside OTP. Okay. Then we have to create a custom class, custom invocable method, which actually go ahead and generate the OTP. So what I will do is I'll just go ahead, open the developer console. I already have that class. That class is very simple. There is nothing as such which uh, you don't be able to understand. Okay. OTP generator is a class. This have a invocable method, and that method has a description called this method will be generating the OTP for user to log in. The label is generate OTP and category is OTP. This met, uh, this class has a like this as this is an invocable method. This will uh, definitely be a public and static method. This is returning a list of a string. That means it is basically going to return a string to our flow. And the method name is generate OTP. This is a list of string that we have prepared and we are returning that list over here. With the help of a crypto class which is there in Salesforce, I'm generating a random integer. Okay. And once I have got that random integer and I'm taking the absolute number with the help of a math class, and then I'm taking six digits. Okay, because generally OTPs are of six digits. So I have given say that zero to six. So every time a user is trying to log in, this crypto class is going to generate a random integer number, and then we are going to get the unique OTP every time a user is logging. And then whatever the OTP we have got, we are adding into the response list and then returning back to the flow. If you are unfamiliar with the invocable method, I will give you the link in the description where we have talked all about invocable method, and you will be able to understand each and everything. Okay. Once this invocable method is ready, we need to develop a flow. That flow will be after save flow. So whenever an OTP will be generated, like OTP record will be created, what we will do is we will call this class, call this class method, will generate the OTP and will update that OTP to the our object. Okay. To do that, just go to the setup home page and search for flows. I already have a flow that flow is really simple so I'll just go ahead and walk you through what exactly is there inside the flow so my flow name is update OTP on OTP record this is running on whenever an object OTP is created and what it is doing is actions and related record the reason we are using actions because we are trying to call the apps class and remember that workflow that logical uh, diagram which we discussed if we need to make the action call, we must need to use after save flow. That is why we have used actions and related records. Then what we did is we called an action which is generating the OTP. So you, you see here, it is just calling the action called generate OTP. There is no parameter in the method, nothing. We are not doing anything. Okay. And on the top, you see generate OTP apex action. This is the apex action. I will show you if you are trying to create a new so under interaction you will find action 
select action and from the left hand side you will find your OTP select that and under action you will find generate OTP and you just need to give it a name whatever you want to give okay uh, let's say that I'm saying generate OTP and just click on done so whatever you have generated that action is going to actually work for you okay then what we have is we have an assignment operator where what we are doing is we have a OTP record okay and then we are adding OTP whatever we got from generate OTP action okay which record we wanted to update whatever the record ID we have got and then the status we are putting as generated because now the actual OTP has been generated and we have to make sure that the status is actually generated and then at the end we are basically doing nothing usually uh, sorry as usual we are adding we are updating a record so we say that use the IDs and all fields values from the record collection we already have a record where OTP record and we are updating that so I'll just go ahead and remove this because we don't need this. We can also add the fault path like this. Now I'm going to activate this. Even the previous version is also activated, so we I don't need to worry about this, but still I will go ahead and activate this. Once we have activated this, now the time is to create OTP record and then see if the OTP is generated for the record or not. For the testing purpose, we will actually be using a particular manual process to create OTP record however whenever we will be working with login flows we will be creating those OTP record from the flow itself on the fly the record will be created the OTP will be generated the OTP will be sent to the user and all these things will happen there dynamically before we actually test we can also do the debug you can say run immediately what OTP is there you can say whatever the OTP is there click on run and you see your flow is working fine on the right hand side you can expand all your um, all your if you click on expand all you can see here how the otp is generated and whatever the otp was generated basically it was 532731 okay now let's get back here in the otp earlier it was 182290 if you see that it is actually generating a different otp every time we are trying to create a new one okay as we are already there in okay what i'll do is from the app launcher i'll create ot i will search for otps okay so after creating the object you also need to create a tab then only you will see this otp on the app launcher i'll go ahead and click on new let's say i'm creating for chatter user chatter expert i'm not need to i don't need to provide this otp because we are not going to have a manual interface for creating OTP records, right? But for now, it is okay. This is the time which we generated. Go ahead and save this. So, as soon as you saved this, you got this OTP is there, the status is generated, expire time is automatically there, like it was 2 2. After adding 15 minutes, it is 11.37. Okay, expired is there, it is not actually expired yet. Username is whatever the chatter expert username is, we have got that username as well. Why we are using these formula fields because we are going to use these in the email template which we will be sending to the user along with the otp information so this is it for this video how actually you generate the otp with the help of flow and we will meet in the next videos where we are going to talk about the different concepts before you go ahead please do like say subscribe the channel and also if you have any questions please feel free to email us with the mentioned email in the description. Thank you.